In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Windows 11 on a new SSD without using a USB flash drive. If you are ready to give your PC a fresh start with a new SSD but don't have a USB drive handy, this guide is for you. So let's get started. First, make sure you have a working computer with Windows already installed. You need to install the new SSD on that computer. I am using a Dell Optiplex mini PC. I am going to install this new 128GB M.2 SSD on this PC. So let's open the cabinet. I need to remove the 2.5 inch drive to locate the M.2 slot on the motherboard. The current operating system is installed on this 2.5 inch SATA drive. Now I'll insert the new SSD into this M.2 slot. Then secure it with the provided screw. Now mount the 2.5 inch drive again and close the cabinet. After installing the new SSD, you have to make sure it's recognized by the system. Open Disk Management by right-clicking the Start button and selecting Disk Management. Here you can see it's showing unknown and not initialized yet. We need to initialize it. So right-click on the SSD and select Initialize Disk. Choose the GPT partition style and click OK. The new SSD is now online and recognized by the system. Now right click on the unallocated space on the SSD and create a new volume. After that, create a separate partition on the SSD to store the Windows 11 installation files. You can allocate 10 GB of space to this partition. 10 GB is a safe bet for storing the Windows 11 installation files. You can name it Windows 11 Installer. The SSD drive is now ready. We can proceed to install the Windows 11 operating system on it. To install Windows 11 on a new SSD, we are going to use a handy tool called ECBCD. This is the perfect tool for those who want to avoid the hassle of creating a bootable USB. Head over to their website and download the non-commercial version, which is free to use. Once you have downloaded EasyBCD, go ahead and install it on your current Windows system. Now, download the Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft website. Next, you'll need to mount the Windows 11 ISO file. Simply right-click on the ISO file and click Mount. This will create a virtual DVD drive containing the Windows 11 setup files. Copy all the files and folders within the drive. Then, go to the Windows 11 installer partition you created earlier. Paste all the copied files here. Now you are ready to move on to the next steps of installing Windows 11 on the SSD. Open EasyBCD. From the left panel, click on Add New Entry. Under the Portable External Media section, select WinPE. Give it a name like Windows 11 Installer. Click the Browse button and navigate to the Sources folder within your mounted ISO. 
Select the boot.wim file. The boot.wim file contains the window pre-installation environment or WinPE, which is used for starting the Windows setup process. Click the Add Entry button. It will add a new entry to your Windows boot menu. As you can see, it's showing a message that the Windows 11 installer has been added to the boot menu successfully. Now it's your time to restart your PC. When your computer restarts, you'll see a boot menu. Here, you have to select the Windows 11 installer option you just added. The Windows 11 installation process will now begin. On the screen, you have to select your SSD as the installation destination. You can format and delete the drive and partitions of your previous Windows system. In my case, the previous Windows was installed in Drive 0, so I'm going to delete all the Drive 0 partitions. Make sure you do not accidentally delete the Windows 11 installer partition. Select the SSD. Click Next. Now Windows will install itself, configure settings and install drivers. This process might take some time and involve several restarts. You will be asked to choose your region, language, keyboard layout, connect to Wi-Fi, create a user account and so on. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Windows 11 setup process. And that's it! You have successfully installed Windows 11 on your new SSD without using a USB drive. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might find it useful too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.